Hello everyone, today we're coming to you from Madison Heights, Virginia. We're going to be doing a Brunswick stew today. We're going to be cooking a half a pot. Thought we'd do a little video to show you how we do it. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. A lot of people have asked about our equipment, what we use. This right here is the stew pot. We've got it built on a stand with wheels, so when we get finished, we can roll it right back up on the trailer. This is inside the pot. This is what it looks like, empty. We use a propane burner. This is what the burner looks like. Got three burners underneath, cooked with propane. So we can control the heat, turn it up if we need to, turn it down. And we'll show you a little bit more after it's all set up. Today we're making just a half a pot. Normally this pot would be filled all the way up to the rim. I'm going to kind of walk you through it today and show you how we do it. Normally we would put in about two buckets and three quarters worth of water. But today we're only going to put in about a bucket and three quarters. That's the first step we start with, putting the water in and then we'll bring it to a boil. We just uh, lit the burners. It's a couple minutes after seven o'clock in the morning. And we'll show you what the final product looks like when we get finished. I'm gonna show you what the burners look like burning. This is the paddle we use. This is made out of stainless steel. Got the holes bored in it so the stew can flow through it easily. If you notice around the bottom, we got a piece of metal that goes around the pot and covers the burners up. That way when the wind gets to blowing, we're not fighting the wind trying to blow out the burners. Okay, we use boneless chicken breast, cut that into cubes, and also we use beef chunks. This is in the bag, ready to go. We get ready to put it in the water. Starting to put the meat in now. There goes some boneless chicken breast. Here comes the beef chunks. Here's the last bag of beef going in. Now we'll get the paddle and stir it up some and get it all mixed in there good. What I'm doing there is getting it all mixed in good. We'll let this cook for probably about 45 minutes before we add anything else to it. We will add a little Texas peat and some black pepper right now. Meat is coming along right now, it's cooking. You can definitely see the steam coming out the pot, so you know it's good and hot. Well, like I said earlier, we're doing a half a pot today. Normally we would have 100 pounds of potatoes. 
cut up. But today we're only doing 50 pounds. This is 50 pounds chopped up. And they will be going in the, in the pot here shortly. It's time to put the potatoes in the pot. That's 50 pounds just dumped in. Now it's time to stir them up and mix them in. You can see the potatoes in there and there, they're cooking. When we dump them in, that cools the water down just a little bit. So it'll take just a few more minutes for it to warm back up. But everything is coming along nicely. The next thing to go in will be the uh, celery and the onions. We got the onions and celery all chopped up. We put them in buckets and when it's time to dump them, we just dump the whole bucket and then we'll mix it all in. We'll show you when we put it in. Now it's time to add the onions and the celery. And then once we get both of those added, we'll stir it up and get it all mixed in good. And let that start cooking. Now I'm mixing everything in good, getting it all mixed together. And we'll let this cook. And then we'll start adding all the canned goods. As you can see, we have our own table built with a can opener on it. We use this as we travel around doing stews. The next thing we put in will be the canned vegetables. Like I said earlier, normally we would put a case of everything in, but we're doing only a half a pot today. So we'll be putting three cans of each. The first thing we'll be putting in will be the small green lima beans, and then the medium sliced carrots. We'll be putting three cans of each in. It's time to start dumping the, the vegetables in. First thing going in will be the lima beans. I know it's hard to see with all that steam coming up, but just kind of showing you it step by step of how we do it. And here comes the third can of beans going in. The next thing going in would be the ca uh, medium carrots. And it'll be three cans of those going in. And now is the important part, you gotta keep it stirring at all times, because if you don't, it will stick and scorch it, and then it'll be money down the drain. It won't be fitting to eat. So from now on out until the end, you have to constantly keep stirring. The next thing we'll add in will be the whole kernel yellow corn. It'll be three cans of that. Now it's time to put the corn in. Can number two of corn in. Now let's get all 
all this mixed in good. We also use sugar, but you put the amount that you want. We kind of season it to our own taste. And this, this is the last part of the canned goods. We'll be using three cans of crushed tomatoes and then three cans of diced tomatoes. When we add the crushed tomatoes in, that will start turning it, giving it that stew looking look. Now we're gonna start adding in the crushed tomatoes. We'll have to dip in in there and get some hot stuff in there because there's always tomatoes stuck to the can. And that way you get everything out of it. You don't waste anything. There goes the second can in. crushed tomatoes only thing left now to add will be the diced tomatoes all right now it's time to put in the diced tomatoes And the last ingredient going in, that's the last can of the diced tomatoes. Now we'll just sit here and, and keep on stirring and let it cook on down and it'll be ready here in a little while. Now we're gonna add a little bit of salt to, to taste it. Well, we just turned the heat off to the stew pot. This is what the stew looks like. It's finished cooking now. Now comes the time to start dipping it out and putting it into the quart cups. All right, this is what we use to dip with. We got a, a Pyrex measuring cup. And then we fill up these quart cups just like that. Here we go, we've got 40 sitting on the table right here that needs to be capped to put the tops on on. And already we've got 25 sitting over here on the side that's already been quartered up and capped and we like to haul them in these two liter crates that two liter drinks come in that they, they fit in there perfect you can get eight to a crate pick them up pick them up by the handles and they're easy to transport i just showed you the ones we've already got quartered this will give you an idea how much the pot has come down we still got some more to be quartered up and now we finished dipping all the stew out now it's time to clean the pot what we do we put water in there and some dish detergent and then we'll heat it up and take some brushes and start scrubbing and this is how we clean up the pot and the paddle 
take a hot soapy water, just take a brush and start scrubbing it. And we'll go all the way around it until it gets good and clean. And then we'll take the water and throw it out. And then we got to oil it up so it won't rust. And I'll show you all that when we get time to do it. All right, we got the pot all cleaned up. Now it's time to put a little oil in it so it don't rust up. And now we'll take it and wipe it around, get it all of it covered good. All right, everything is loaded back up on the trailer. We have finished up for the day. And next week we'll be at it again. Next week we'll be making a full pot. Be doing that in Appomattox, our hometown. Well, folks, we hope y'all enjoyed this video today. The stew turned out delicious as always. We hope y'all enjoyed the video on how we make the stew. We try to show you what we do kind of step by step and um, like I said normally we do a full pot that pot would normally be full all the way up to the top but today we just did a half of a pot we did it for a friend of ours he wanted some stew to put in his freezer and then he's gonna give some people some stew next week we'll be making one right here in our hometown of Appomattox Virginia we'll be doing a full pot next week so well, friends we appreciate y'all watching if y'all hadn't subscribed to our channel already please do so hit that like button hit that subscribe and, and ring that notification bell that way you can keep up with all the latest and greatest adventures from the virginia fun seekers until next time thank y'all for watching and god bless